I've got a friend, a good friend now, um, and he's now in creation ministry. He, um, uh, he, he came to Christ through the avenue of dinosaurs in the Bible. Have you ever heard of that? I've, I've heard of many people that have seen the truth of that, and that was their gateway. That was kind of their entry point to going, okay, maybe the Bible's not so crazy after all. Maybe this really does have something to it. Yeah, he's one of those. And, uh, and he told me this when we were um, rafting down the Grand Canyon in 2013. Um, we were just hanging out, and I asked him his story. How did you come to the Lord? And he said, he said I was... Uh, raised as an atheist in Europe, and I was an atheist. It was all I knew, and I was uh, I had a job in Spain, and I was on the beach, vacationing in Spain, and there were some people out beach witnessing. Uh, even in Spain, they do that, and they came up to me and and said, you know, just started a conversation, realized I was who I was, and um, said you know, what do you think of the Bible? Oh, it's a bunch of myths. Everyone knows that is what he said. Did you know that there's dinosaurs in the Bible described in the pages of the Bible? He said, no, I had no idea. So, um, so he became curious for the first time in his life about the Bible. And he's, and so the guy who's told him this, that's all, he just dropped a little, you know, curiosity bomb and, um, and said, if you want to learn more about this Bible, come to this meeting that we have. He went to the meeting because he wanted to know about the dinosaurs that were in the Bible as an atheist. And, um, and he went and he, he just got more and more curious and he studied the Bible more and more and, and found out that it was a lot more accurate than he ever thought it would have been um, based on what he was told about it. And gradually and study after study, he went to this group uh, repeatedly and he came to Christ and he said, you know, this is true. This stuff about me and my heart being sinful, I know that's actually true. And my atheist worldview has no way to process the truthfulness of my guilt and my felt need for salvation. And 